Welcome to the channel, welcome to the vlog, and welcome to the garage. Garage is a little dark. I took down the crappy lights that no longer worked. The whole front of the garage was pitch black, and these just didn't last very long. So, we ordered a new set. I'll put a link down in the description below of the ones that we ordered, but let's see what the new ones look like. They're supposed to be 16,000 lumens, so it should brighten up the front of the garage substantially, but let's take the first look. Here goes nothing. That's much better. Now I don't feel like I'm gonna be working in the dark. I can actually see what we're doing up front. That's a win in my books. We got the windowsill all cleaned up. I can barely even tell where I put the repair. I'm gonna say that's definitely a win and think it'll last it'll probably last for a long time probably till the, for the rest of the time that I own the truck so now we're gonna get into trying to do some little uh, Mickey Mouse repairs on the door so that we can get the door and start putting the whole truck back together for a little bit of driving season so Let's go to the back and assess what we need to do to the door. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take off this panel, get the door handles off. Those should be tricky. There's actually a C-clip under these handles and there's actually a tool and it looks like a fork and it goes under here and it, it presses the C-clips out. Now, I don't have it. I do know there is one in my dad's garage, but he's working right now and I don't want to go up and bug him at work. So let's try and get these off without that tool. We, maybe we may have to even make something of our own to get those C-clips pushed out. But the reason I want to pull this door piece off is The locks don't work. Don't have the key for them. And I cannot get them to budge. So there's something going on in the lock mechanism that we also need to fix. We need to do both doors because both doors aren't working. I don't know why. We do have new locks for the doors because the previous owner didn't have the actual keys for the doors. So I ordered new locks with new keys so we can hopefully get these replaced and be able to lock the truck up when we go somewhere into restaurant or whatever. So let's uh, get that door panel off and we'll go from there. And for those not in the Canada, Calgary, Alberta area, welcome to Calgary in April. We've been getting more snow in April than we did all through the winter. Yeah, it's supposed to be spring here. Which means I don't have quite the urge to want to drive the truck yet because as you can see, our weather sucks. What a mess. There was so much Bondo on here. It was ridiculous, but I got, got the corner cleaned up, got the bottom hole cut out, these dents and holes cut out, and all the Bondo ground out of here and underneath. So I'm going to make a little filler to sit in here so that I can close up this hole 
and then we will make a filler piece to go all the way around we'll make a filler piece for in here and then we'll do the same thing we'll do a little filler piece on the inside so we can get this closed up and then we'll do a filler piece on the outside just temporary until we can get the door pieces in I'm heading up to Scott's super trucks in the next couple days so maybe they'll have them and we can use this as just good practice or and we'll run it for the summer until next winter and then we can pull the doors off and completely change the bottom half. FYI, I use the cutout pieces to trace onto the new metal and then the corners I use some paper and push it in and trace it out to get a quick template. Filler pieces made. We got these filler pieces made. Now, let's tack this in and then we'll make another piece that will those patches in it's gonna need a bit of finessing still but it's one piece and there's no more holes in the door hopefully the girl pro isn't all grainy now it's just speckled and I think it was from all the sparks I really screwed that up. I don't know if we can buy a replacement piece for the GoPro, but it is what it is. All right, we got the corners welded up. We got the patches installed and we got it all cleaned up. Today is also a new day. I spent the day fixing the corners on the outside. Previous owner attempted some square patches and just made a mess of it. Here's some pictures of what the corners look like before I started welding or I mean started fixing the corners. They were not even flush. They were just tacked in and then just about a quarter inch of Bondo just sliced in there to fill up the gap and make the door smooth. That wasn't going to fly with me so I cut it out and then fixed it. Um, so let me show you what the door looks like now with some patches that have been installed and hopefully looking better. Corners all fixed up, welded. I put the filler and then the outside piece on the patch on the bottom, the corner patch, and then same thing with this corner. I put a filler and then put a piece over top so that it's all flush with the door. We got this patch put in here. There was actually a hole here. I'll put a picture up on the screen. I just routed out the hole and made a filler out of a bolt actually and welded it in. And then I got this corner done now as well. It needs a bit of 
body filler to smooth out as it is a little rough but but i'm actually going to hang the door on the truck first before i put any body filler on there so that i can adjust the door where it needs to sit so it's sitting flush with the fender and the door post and the rock so everything sits really nice and smooth which I was trying to do when I got into this predicament with the door. So hopefully now we can hang the door and keep moving forward. We gotta change the door lock still now that the lock's actually working. And I filled the old holes for the mirrors so we can get the new mirrors put down. Big, big, big progress in the last couple days. Hopefully this is not too fuzzy or distorted. Some of the welding sparks and grinding sparks have hit the front of this GoPro lens and it is an absolute mess. So hopefully we're not just recording all this for nothing because that would be a waste. However, I have ordered a new lens for the GoPro so hopefully um, it comes soon and then we can get back to clearer footage and I will be more conscious of where the GoPro is before I start grinding and welding so that I don't have to keep replacing glass lenses. Another update, I did get some spacers so that we can put on the front of the truck and hopefully get that spaced out just a little bit more. They're in quarter inch increments. So I think I'm just going to try one first and then see what it looks like. I think it should probably be okay with um, the one on there. But if we have to, we'll try the two. My fear is the two is going to be too long for the wheel studs. But we'll play it by ear and see how it goes. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you guys all have a fantastic day. Just trying to keep the vlog going along for all of those who actually care to stick around and watch. The views are absolutely hitting the tank and there's not too many people watching. So I am kind of talking to myself and a few of you guys. I appreciate you guys that are still watching and have stuck around to this point. For me, like I said, I'm just doing this as a basic video diary to keep the progress of what I've done to the truck so that my kids in the future can look back and always remember and see what I did in the garage. So once again, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, 